हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू कोर्ट शेफ दिस इज सूरज एंड इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स डिस्कस दिस प्रॉब्लम के मैक्स फ्रॉम जुलाई कुक ऑफ 2022 नाउ लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट सो हियर इन दिस प्रॉब्लम विल बी गिवन एन एरे ए कंटेनिंग टोटल एन इंटीजर्स एंड वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट इफ इट इज पॉसिबल टू चूज एम एलिमेंट्स फ्रॉम द एरे सो दैट द मैक्स ऑफ द चूजन एलिमेंट इज एग्जैक्टली के ओके एंड हियर वट इज मैक्स इट इज गिवेन सो लेट सी given an array a let's say we have an array a 2 2 1 so we need to find out uh, that is the max of this array a is smallest non negative integer which is which is not present in this array so here in this array smallest non negative integer is 0 so the max of a is 0 now let's say we insert 0 here okay so now smallest non negative integer which is not present in this array is 3 0 1 2 and 3 so 3 is not present so the max is 3 now and let's say if we delete this 1 and we write 2 here so now the max of array a is 1 because 1 is the smallest non negative integer which is not present in this array so 0 is present then 1 is not present so answer is 1 okay so th this is how max is calculated now let's see the input and output structure so in the input first of all we will have total number of test cases then for each test case we will have two lines and here in the first line we'll get the numbers n m and k respectively so here the value of n is equals to 5 value of m is 4 and value of k is 2 okay and here n represents the size of the array a that will get in the next line of the input so here size is 5 so we got five elements of this array a in the next line of our each test case then here m represents the number of elements which we need to select from this array a so here m is equals to 4 so we need to select four elements from this array a then here k represents the target max value uh, target this mex value which we need to achieve okay after selecting this four element from this array a then for each and every test case we need to print just one line uh, rather it be yes or no that if it is possible to select m um, that is m elements from this array containing n elements with the target max value equal to k if it is possible then we'll output yes otherwise we'll output no now let's see the test cases so here this is the this is the first test case so here n is equals to 5 that is we have total 5 elements in this array m is equals to 4 that we need to select four elements from this array and k is equals to 2 it means the target max value should be 2 so we have the element as 0 1 3 0 3 3 so first of all we can select 1 0 so this one we can select so we made one selection then uh, we need to total uh, select four elements okay so we can select this 0 then this 0 then this 1 and then this 3 so in total we have selected four elements and if we write this in ascending order so we'll get 0 0 1 3 so the smallest non negative integer which is missing from this um, new selection is 2 okay that is 2 should is missing here so the max value of this selection is 2 and our target is also 2 so it is possible to uh, made uh, to make such selection in which we get max equal to 2 so output for this test case is yes now let's see the second test case here n is 2 m is 1 and k is 2 so there are two elements that is 0 and 1 okay and we can make only one selection and the target max value is 2 so let's see uh, here we have only two choice first one first choice is we can select 0 and the second choice is we can select one okay if we select one then max of this selection will be zero because zero is the smallest non negative integer which is not present and if we select zero then max will be equal to one so in both the case it is not possible to achieve a max uh, equal to 2 so uh, here in this second test case output will be no now let's see the third test case here here n is equals to 3 m is equals to 3 and k 
k is also equals to 3. So here are three elements that is 0, 1 and 2 and we need to select all three elements. So we, uh, so we here we do not have any choice. We need to select all the three of these uh, given elements and the target max value which we need to uh, get is 3. So here if we select this 3, so you can see that 0 is present, 1 is also present, 2 is also present. So the smallest non-negative integer which is not present in this selection is 3 which should come here. So the max value of this particular selection here comes out to be 3 and it, it is equal to the uh, to k that's therefore we can say that uh, the output for this third test case here is yes now let's see the fourth test case here in this fourth test case n is equals to 4 m is equals to 3 and k is equals to 3 so the elements given here are 0 2 3 and 4 here i have written this elements in ascending order such that it will be easy for us to understand so here you can see that 0 is present one times and 1 is not present here okay so if 1 is not present then we cannot include 1 in any of our selection it means that we can never achieve a max value of greater of great uh, value greater than 1 okay so the max value k equal to 3 we can never achieve so here for this fourth test case here for this fourth test case output is directly no so you can try the remaining two test cases as an homework now let's discuss the approach so let's say we have uh, this three number n m and k so here n is the size of our given array let's call it array and m is the number of selections which we need to make and k is the target max value so this is target max value okay so first of all uh, there are three cases which we need to take care first one is how many number uh, we which we have uh, to select that is number of selections that is numbers which we uh, which are available to select numbers which are available to select what i mean is if the target max is k and if this uh, number k is present in our array if this is present here okay then uh, we cannot choose this number because if we choose then the max value will be more than or uh, less than this number but not exactly equal to k so we cannot choose this number so total availability is simply n minus the frequency of this number in the array so let's say the frequency we are storing in an array a okay so frequency of this number so this is the total num uh, availability which we have so if availability if availability is more than or equal to m that is the number of selections which we need to make that is if availability is more than uh, the requirement then we can simply say that uh, answer is possible answer may possible let's say answer may possible else if this is not true that is if availability is less then we can simply print no okay so this is the first case now let's see the second second case here second case that uh, is number less than k is missing if number less than k is missing then uh, we can never get a max value equal to k uh, it is same as the test case let's say if we have number 0 then 2 3 5 and any number but not 1 okay so here 1 is missing and if you target k okay if you target k greater than 1 so we can never get it okay this case is never possible because if we select any of this combination numbers in any combination will always miss 1 and here 1 would be uh, one would be always be the smallest non-negative integer which is not present so answer can never be greater than one that is the max value we can never get more than one so here if k is uh, more than one then answer is simply 
no so we can directly print no otherwise answer may be possible okay so now we have to check third case so here if number is missing and that number is less than k so we need to directly print no otherwise uh, if it is if number is not missing then answer may be possible now let's see the third case here let's say k is some large number okay and k is k is large let's say if it, k is larger than m okay if k is larger than m it means that we are allowed to select few numbers than our target k so let's say if we have z no, input as 0 1 2 3 and 4 okay and k here is let's say 5 and we are allowed to select only two numbers so let's say if we select this two then we get max value as two and if we select this two then our max value will be zero and if we select this two then again our max value will be zero so here number of selections are less so we cannot cover entire four element to get the max value equal to five so if if k that is uh, the target is greater than m if this is the case then simply i will print no else answer is possible okay so we need to check all these three cases so if any of these cases uh, we are getting no as an answer so we'll print no otherwise if all these three cases are satisfying properly that is we are have enough available numbers to select and no numbers are missing less than k and also this k is less than or equal to m then we'll print yes otherwise we'll print no i hope you understood logic to this problem but still if you have any doubt now you can use this uh, new feature in codechef that is codechef's doubt support so let me just show you how you can use this new feature so let's say you go to this practice section and uh, let's say i pick any problem so let's let me pick this uh, age limit problem then here in this problem let's say i'm stuck and i'm unable to understand this problem or you may uh, get any confusion so what you can do here is you can go to this ask a doubt section and here you can chat with our experts so let me start this new chat and here i'll ask a simple question so let me ask So here you can see that uh, my doubt is answered and similarly you can also ask your doubts in the doubt support and get the answers quickly. So this doubt support will be available 24 by 7. So you can ask any doubt re uh, regarding this problem and the experts will be there to answer your questions. Now let's see the solution in C++. So here in C++ first of all I am accepting T the total number of test cases. Then I'm calling solution function for each and every test case. And in the solution function, I'm accepting the value of n, m and k. And then here I'm accepting the elements of this array and I'm calculating the frequency of it and storing the frequency in this uh, array a here. So initially I have initialized this array uh, with all the elements equal to zero and of size total n plus one. So here in this array, I will store the frequency of numbers from zero till n. And then here I'm checking if there is any number missing less than or equal to k so here i will iterate from i equal to 0 till i equal to k and the frequency of any number is 0 then i will immediately break otherwise i'll keep incrementing this variable max so here if any number is missing uh, between 0 and k then the max value will be less than k and if there is no number missing then the value of this max variable here will be equals to k and then here i'm ch checking the availability so availability is simply n minus frequency of the element k okay so here i will get the total number of available select uh, available elements which we can select then here i am checking if k is less than or equal to m and if max is equal to k that is if no number is missing 
and if availability is more than the number of selections which we need to make then we'll output yes otherwise we'll output no here is the similar implementation in python so first of all i'm accepting t the total number of test cases then i'm calling solution function for each and every test case and in the solution function first of all i'm accepting the value of n m and k then here i am in i have initialized an array a to store the frequency of all the numbers from 0 till n so here I've initialized this array A on with all elements equal to 0 and size total equal to n plus 1. Then here I have accepted the array A. Then here I'm calculating in this for loop the frequency of each and every element present in this array. So here uh, I, I'm iterating from i equal to 1, i equal to 0 till i less than n. And I am uh, incrementing the frequency of that particular element in this array A by 1. Okay and here i am checking if there is any number missing less than equal to k so i have initialized max to 0 then i am iterating from i equal to 0 till i less than k and if the frequency of any number is uh, equal to 0 then i will break immediately so in that case the value of this max will be less than k otherwise i will keep incrementing the value of max by 1 so if there is no number missing uh, between 0 and k then i will get the value of max equal to k then here i am uh, in, uh, initializing this availability uh, I'm checking the availability so I'm initializing this variable available equal to n minus frequency of this element k uh, in this given array a uh, in this given array okay so if k is less than equal to m and if there is no number missing that is max equal equal to k and availability is more than uh, the number of selections which we need to make then we'll print yes otherwise we'll print no so I hope you understood the logic and its implementation in both C++ and Python in case you have any doubt, feel free to write in the comments. So let's meet in another video. Thank you so much.